Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. I said it before, if what I said, I have in any way offended anybody, I have in any way offended anyone, that is called character, uh, that is called defamation, defamation of character. If I have ever done it, let the person I defend, I lied against, take me to court, you know? What are you talking about? There's, there is what is called International Criminal Court. I, I don't necessarily need to be in Zambia for you to take me to court. You can process your things and we go to court anywhere in the world. So if I have offended Digalunga, I have offended uh, 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 Dorasilia or all these other thieves that I, I mentioned. If I've offended them and they must take me to court. I'm not afraid of court. Any court in the world. I'm going to go. I'm going to go not as a supernatural human being. I will go as Andrew and I will teach you a lesson. So if uh, I, I did, I, I said something bad against anybody, please, you must take me to court. Don't have mercy on me because I don't have mercy on people. I don't need mercy. If I offend you, take me to court. What I'm, I want to emphasize, what I want to talk about today is uh, seriously, what has really happened in Zambia. Remember, those of you that think that CR1 is a joke, those of you that think that CR1 is a nobody, CR1 is this, those of you that I, I made a prophecy by the time I was advising Aka in the HLM, what to do when he become president. When I was saying it, people thought I was joking. Everything was calm in Zambia, everything was okay in Zambia. I said, no, I said, youths of Zambia will rise. When I said it, people didn't believe me. I said it again. Even tonight, I'm telling Eddie Galungu, if he doesn't take time, next year's election, even before next year, he will leave the seat. If he doesn't take time, believe me, mark my words somewhere. I said it before, many months ago, I said, youths of Zambia will rise. The truth is that when a poor man is looking for food, and going to rich man to ask for food. Rich, poor man is crying every day, give me food. Give me food, there is no food. Crying every day, give me food, there is no food. The rich doesn't want to share the food with the poor. One day, there will be no food to eat. The poor person will eat the rich. Mark my word, this is a parable. Poor, poor people are saying, give me food. You are not giving them food. Help me with food, you are not giving them food. Help me with food, you are not giving them food. One day, the poor people will eat the rich. That will be the only food that will remain, and they will eat the rich. Mark my word, don't take people for granted. Don't take people for granted. Never you in your life take people for granted. Never. Don't take people for granted. People are suffering. People are crying in Zambia. Don't take them for granted. But I want to share with you what, what is happening. Many people don't know actually what is happening in Zambia. They are in Zambia. It's only when I started talking, when many people started following me, that they are beginning to see. Yesterday, I was uh, driving back uh, uh, from where I was in Johannesburg. I was driving back and... Uh, a, a, a Nigerian brother called me. He's a very rich, a rich guy in the USA, and he has farms almost all over the world. And he called me. He said, "See, one, I didn't know about you, but uh, I was making a study about Zambia because I'm trying to go and invest in Zambia. I want to invest in agriculture, but I came across a video of you on YouTube." talking about Zambia. Tell me about Zambia. Do you know what I told him? I swear, I told him, don't go and invest in Zambia. Especially if you are a black man. Don't make mistake to go and invest in Zambia under the leadership of Eddie Galungu. Because believe me, 
one day the, your investment does not have what is called protection in every country in africa even here in south africa so long as you are here in south africa legally the government protect you the government protect your investment and even in zambia i entered in zambia in the year 2009 2009 late i think it was in november or october a family in zambia invited me just to come and visit zambia when i arrived in zambia i felt ah this country is a very good country you know i loved the country i i i loved the culture i loved the people i was staying in south africa i relocated from south africa i went to zambia and started staying in zambia why did i stay in zambia because it was peaceful the type of work i do does not require noise that is the reason why i'm not in nigeria today that is the only reason why i'm not in nigeria i don't like noise because of the work i do talking and interacting with the spirit requires a quiet place it's not because of infrastructure if you go to nigeria today even after this broadcast take time and research about infrastructures in nigeria and you know that the whole of africa nigeria is number one not even south africa can be compared to nigeria but the reason why i didn't stay there is because it's a noisy environment it's a hot environment my work does not require me to be in a place that is very noisy when i went to when i went to zambia i discovered that this place is very quiet these people are so loving these people are so great these people are so nice i started staying in zambia that was under the leadership of rupia banda under the leadership of Rupia Banda, I was in Zambia. I was criticizing Rupia Banda like no man's business. I remember I could go to TBN, uh, Dr. Pule's church and Dr. Pule's TV station. I am going to be, I, I was there criticizing life on TV, criticizing the leadership of Rupia Banda. Rupia Banda didn't do anything to me. He loved me. He embraced me. He never even cared about, he learned from the critics. Everything was okay. Everything I was doing in Zambia, I did it like Zambia was my home. Until uh, Sata came and took over. Everything was going well under Sata's leadership. Foreigners had right. Foreigners had freedom which you know we felt the love we felt that we we are embraced in zambia zambia took us like their brothers and their sisters no one harassed us until uh, eddie kalungu took over we were all supporting him we are all working for him not knowing that we are raising a a a, a young lion that will grow up and eat us what did we do since eddie kalungu took over all the all the black foreigners in Zambia are being treated like idiots. Emmanuel Mamba was talking rubbish. She was talking nonsense. Why was I deported in Zambia? See what Zambian government is doing to black people. I want you to follow me very very well. I want you to follow me very very well. I'm not talking from something I don't know. Remember anything I speak, I speak I speak it uh, 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 with proof with evidence. I don't just start talking. Everything was going well until Lady Galungu took over. Since Lady Galungu took over, black African in Zambia is not safe. If you are doubting me today, go to Lusaka, let police, let police or army, let investigative wing go to Lusaka Dynamo. All the foreign players that are playing there, go there, go there, Lusaka Dynamo Club foreign players including a goalkeeper from burundi they don't pay them and they took their passport these black brothers are crying to say okay give us passport let us go back to our country nobody want to give them their passport and they are complaining to me their messages are here this thing never happened under any other president except ed galungu ed galungu hate black africans he hate black people. He hate us. He hate us with, I don't know, he hate us. with. A, go to Lusaka Dynamos Football Club. Go there, you will see that those children are crying. Believe me, as I'm talking to you now, maybe their case has reached fever. 
You don't want to pay them and you are taking their passport. Let them go. Let them go back to their countries. Because Eddie Galung don't like black people. Eddie Galung don't like black people. Under his leadership, everything has soured in Zambia. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.